I'm Riot Grade 12 here and back again. This is your boy Leo. Um, I'm back again with another transaction of um by bag of shares. So today I want us to be focusing on um buying bag of shares based on the average price, not the amount above or not the amount below the average price, but just the average price. So before we can get into details, please just subscribe to our page. Uh, subscribe to our page like uh, comment and please don't forget to click the notification bell so that you get more videos of us so now i want us to be focusing on um the kima traders ltd which bought back uh 7500 shares at the average price of three rand on the gse so the balance of the ordinary share capital was six hundred thousand. So now they're saying that the Kima Traders Limited bought back 7,500 shares at the average price of 3 Rand on the JSE. And they're like, the balances, we have got only the balance of ordinary share capital. So now, guys, I'm going to show you how to calculate and how to record uh, this type of transaction. I know it's... it's um. It's a short question, but you can post in the comment or you can post questions on the comment section. So now I'm saying that since we are saying that we are buying back our shares, then when we buy, it means our cash payment generally is affected. So that's why we have got the cash payment here. So then we go back again. We are buying what? The shares. So when we buy shares back, it means the ordinary share capital account is also affected. Then we come back again, okay? When we buy shares, the money comes straight from the bank account. So that's why we have got the bank account as, as one of the ledgers involved in this transaction. So, okay, please pay attention. So we bought back, or let's just say that we are Kima Traders LTD. Then we bought uh, 7,500 shares at an average price of 3 rand on the GSE. Uh, the GSE is Johannesburg Stock Exchange. And then the balance on the ordinary share capital is 600,000. So now, I want us to, uh, to start with what we call the bank account. You can start wherever you want to start, but... I want us to start with the bank account. So we all know that under the bank account, the money when we buy, it goes out of the business. So it means since bank is an asset, the balance will be recorded on the credit side of bank account. So what is the money for? The money is used for, ordi for ordinary share capital or it is used for shares. They used the money to buy shares. So on the details under the credit side of bank, you can just say, ordinary share capital then after saying ordinary share capital then you're saying that okay the account affected here it's ordinary share capital and bank account so since your bank account is uh, crediting the ordinary share capital your ordinary share capital will debit bank account since it's cross multiple then you come back again you say bank this side meaning that the bank was affected uh, since the money went out of the bank account to buy the ordinary share or to buy the shares or to buy back the shares. So now, we all know that the ordinary share capital account debited bank while bank credited the ordinary share capital. So what matters here is the amount. How much is the amount? So we are going to say that, okay, now that... We have got 7,500 shares at an average price of 3 rand. We are going to say, um, we can just say shareholders because uh, they bought shares. Shareholders, then you open your bracket. You say that, okay, it's fine. 7,500 shares bought back times the price per share of which is how much? Rent. then you close your brackets then calculating this amount is going to give you an amount of um 7500 times 3 is equal to 22500 
of which it is an amount that is going to be recorded in bank or in the bank account. So it's 22,500. 22, and then you can just say, okay, now that the amount is 22,500, here in the secondary accounts, we can just say 22,500 as an amount. Then you come back again. What's the amount for? It's for the ordinary share capital. Ordinary share capital. Then that's how it's calculated. Since we used uh, that 7,500 shares and we times it with the, or we multiplied it with the average price. So we come back again here, okay? Now that we have an amount of two or an amount of 22,500, we record this amount on this side, on the, um, on the debit side of the ordinary share capital, which is 22,500. Then now, since the ordinary share capital has debited bank with an amount of 22,500, it means bank account is going to credit the ordinary share capital with an amount of how much? 22,500. It is as simple as that. So this is how we calculate or this is how we record the buying bag of shares. Remember this buying bag of shares is based on the average price, like not the amount above or not the amount below. So check our next video where we'll be talking about um, the amount above the average price and some videos to come talking about the amount below the average price. So, okay, guys, please subscribe on my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, to share and to click the notification bell so that you get more videos. Thanks for your day.